Hello everyone, my name is Lex, and today I'm going to show you how to build a one plant zero tick shuriken farm in version Minecraft 1.14 for Bedrock Edition. And now the reason I am posting this is because my previous design from version 1.13 actually broke. Now, if you are a long time viewer of this channel, you might know this design already because this was the original zero tick shuriken farm design that got me boosted up in popularity because uh, Skippy6 um, found it and and used it, well not used it, he, uh, well he did credit me etc. And yeah, he did feature it in this video. And yeah, that is the way this design got very popular. Now I did slightly improve it over what I had previously. And yeah. Now if you did build this design before already, which is my 1.13 Zeratic Shuriken farm design, this design will still work, but will need slight modifications. So you're just going to want to get yourself a bucket and then go on either side, let's just say that side, and remove the uh, water right here. So there will be no more water. And I suppose you can also remove that piston. And as you can see, it will work just fine. So uh, you just have to make sure that there's no two water sources. And that is why this design will still work, but I still recommend building the new one, which I'm going to show you now. Now the reason why I'm showing you this design right here, and that I already had previously used, is because Zero Tech Shuriken farms could be uh, done with a single piston in version 1.12, but they changed that in 1.13, but they brought it back this update, so 1.14. And that's the reason why I'm showing you again how to build this, because honestly this is the best single plant Zero Tech Shuriken farm design there is in my opinion. It's quartzless, it's slimeless, it really just uses things you can get within 5 minutes of starting a world, which is awesome. As for the rates of this farm, this will produce about a solid thousand shuriken per hour, and yeah, that is about the rates you can expect from a single plant, and honestly, I would recommend building this over my previous industrial design, which is like 16 plants, because you can just leave this on all day, it will never break when unloading, and yeah, it, it will just work just fine, you can leave it running all day and you'll have a lot of shuriken when you need it. And you don't have to get a bazillion shuriken at once, you can just leave it running over time. Alright, let's build this thing. Now, those are the materials that you're going to need. Of course, this can be any type of solid block, this can be any type of stair. And this glass right here, it can be solid blocks, but I just chose to take actual glass because it looks nice. And apart from that, the materials are pretty straightforward. Alright, so we're going to start off with one solid block just like this. Uh, put some redstone dust on top and elevate one up. Now, if you are building this on the floor, you can just not elevate by one block and build, put the dust straight on the floor. But we're just going to do it like that. So place a solid block on top. Redstone repeater just like this. Torch. Solid block. And that is our main clock. Now put a lever on there and toggle that. Put a chest right on there and get your hopper, make it face into the chest. Now put your actual dirt on there. What you can do now is put your piston just like this facing up. Now this is going to manipulate the water, I'm going to zero ticket so that the shuriken grows faster. Place a torch on the side of that piston and place some salt blocks looking like this. Now you're going to want to place a torch just like this right here. Uh, actual redstone dust. And another piece of piston. Now this is our main skeleton done. Now we just need to take our stair and make it go like this. Now just take your glass and cover it up like this so that you can place your water. Now what you're going to want to do is just quickly turn this on and off. This is so that the water can flow down and that we can place the shuriken. Now we're almost done, just um, finish up by taking your glass and closing this thing off. And believe it or not, that is the entire thing. Let's just turn this thing on, and as you can see, it already starts producing shuriken. And like I said, 1000 shuriken per hour, this is more than you will probably ever need. Alright, this is pretty much all you need to see. Personally, I'm very happy that 1.12 style shuriken farms are back, and they're just as simple as they have ever been. 
And yeah, this is overall, I'd say, the best single plant uh, zero take shuriken farm there is. There is really not many ways to actually optimize it or make it any cheaper. Yeah, with that being said, um, I do have a Discord server. So if you want to join that, the link in the description. And it's definitely a cool place to hang out. And if you are interested in talking with some technical people, there definitely are some there. And I also, of course, have a Patreon page where you can support my work. As you can see, I put a ton of work into these types of tutorials. And make sure to also subscribe, because I do keep these tutorials coming on a regular basis. Uh, yeah, but with that being said, I hope you very much enjoyed this video and get a ton of views out of this. My name is Nex, and bye-bye.